Hello everyone, it's Nick Nevin, the Witch of Sea Cliff, and today is another day of the 21 days of recovering your spirituality, getting back in touch with your spirits, your deities, and revitalizing yourself so that you want to be in touch with your spirits and do witchcraft. Hello, crows. So, what did I do today? I came out and I repotted my basil plant because it was in a tiny little pot. So, I, it will probably need to be replanted again. But there's nothing more grounding than to work in the soil, even if it's just for a few minutes repotting. Getting your hands in the dirt is so grounding and healing. And basil is very healing. Basil is a protective plant. It's ruled by the planet Mars, which is a masculine energy and uh, the element of fire. So if you feel sluggish, if you really need to get up some energy for your witchcraft, which I do, I'm going to be doing some banishing and some protective magic. So I need to fire up any sluggishness I feel, which I feel very energized after repotting this little basil plant. And I'm going to meditate more with it. I'm going to sit with the basil and meditate on the energy of the basil plant. And all that is, is just sitting with it. You can hold a, you know, one of the leaves meditate on its energy. What is this plant giving you? Allow the plant to deeply connect with your body, with your soul. And basil is considered a plant or herb of the dead. So it's very connected with spirits. And it's considered an exorcism herb, a protection herb, and where basil lives, evil can't live. So basil is really good when you want to banish, get rid of things, keep evil away, keep some basil on a windowsill if you don't have a patio or porch or yard. Keep a little basil plant on your window. It will protect your home. And working with basil, you can allow the energy of basil to infuse with your spirit, to connect, so that you are divinely protected. Get in touch with the spirit of basil. Each plant has its own spirit. So if you get in touch with the spirits of plants, you will energize your soul. You'll energize yourself, especially with a fire plant. So. I need to raise my energy. I need that fire. I need to transmute my energy. So basil is the perfect plant for me to work with. You can work with dried herbs as well. You can make a tea with uh, basil and that will help you in astral tra travel or hedge riding. You can cook with basil to invigorate you. So ingest basil to invigorate your body, to invigorate your soul, to connect you with spirits of the dead if you would like to be a medium or work with those kind of spirits. And if you need protection, definitely work with basil. If you need money, basil is a wealth herb. You can dry some and put some in your wallet. You can put them in mojo bags, you can put them in dolls, uh, you can put them around your spells, you can dry them and put them in a bath, um, you could put fresh in a bath as well for protection from negativity. This plant will transform negativity into positivity. This plant will help you to be protected from any negative spirits. No evil will come near you with basil around. So plant plenty of basil. 
It's a little picky uh, basil. It likes to have, doesn't like to be too wet or too dry. So you really have to keep up on uh, watering it. Don't overwater it. We had a lot of rain here, so my plants are kind of overwatered. So I want them to get some sun today. And but you can it, it definitely, it's not that hard to grow, but a lot of people will have trouble with it because the, the leaves can go yellow if it gets too much water. Um, but it also protects other plants as well. So it can protect your garden. So if you want to protect your flowers, your plants, uh, have some basil growing around them for that divine protection that it gives. You can see I have a lot of purple flowers here. I have some dahlias. And uh, have some dahlias up here. And that purple color is very good for your spirit as well to incorporate, to revitalize your, your energy, your highest spiritual energy. Purple is... Uh, high vibration color as well as green very high vibration colors um, that connect with spirituality so allow the colors the scents um, the beauty to infuse with your spirits your spirit to connect with other spirits um, ask your plants, your flowers, your herbs to provide protection for you, to rejuvenate you. Thank your plants. Speak to them. Talk to them. Get out daily with plants. Meditate with them. Speak to them. Ground your energy. Get your hands in the soil. Ground yourself. And you will see a dramatic difference in your level of energy you'll you'll feel much more connected with your spirits when you grow your own herbs and plants when you grow things you're giving back to gaia and gaia will definitely reward you uh, because you're bringing life into the world you're being the keeper of life so gaia rewards that effort Gaia rewards you by the beauty it gives. Um, you're giving the insects, the bees, nourishment. You're nourishing Mother Earth. You're nourishing the mother. And in nourishing the mother, you nourish yourself and your soul. And the plant spirits will help you. They will help ground you, energize you, and reconnect you with your deities, with your good angels and spirit guides. So I just want to encourage you today to go out, buy a plant, <laughs> plant some seeds. It's not too late. Um, but you don't need a lot of money. You can buy a small basil plant and start with that. You could buy some other herbs. I have some herbs here. I have some sage and oregano and thyme. I have some lavender. So all these things will be used in magic. They'll be used in cooking. And there's just so much benefit to plants, to your soul, to your life, to your health. So I hope you enjoyed this video and in the description box below, I'll put the links to the other videos for this 21-day project to get us revitalized and reconnected with our spirits, with our magic, and get us really enthusiastic about life. It's, it's blooming now. It's gorgeous. And if you can, get out in nature as much as possible during this good weather, if you're here in... Uh, the northern hemisphere get out in nature it's so beautiful so refreshing and you will feel a difference you will feel yourself transformed 
So I will be back with some banishing work and some protection work. So I'll have videos on that as well. And uh, you can watch the other videos and join me on this 21 day journey to revitalizing your spirituality. I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Bye-bye.